Hi everyone, this is Cheryl from Gemsile. I wanted to share with you all um, the project that I did this week um, for the challenge over at the Cutting Cafe. And so um, for this week, it was a free week. We could pick any file that we wanted to do and I chose to do the camera photo holder file. Um, I've had this file for a while and have been wanting to do something with it and this was the perfect opportunity. So um, I decided to make a mini album and it's about six pages. <clears throat> and as you guys can see, the front is totally, totally blinged out, and I love it. Love how this album turned out. It is so super cute. Um, so, let's see. I can't remember if I said it, but I believe I did. But um, I used the camera photo holder as well as the jotted down printable stamp set. And I'll make sure that I leave a link to both of those in the description box below. And before I get started with the album, let me show you the paper stack that I used. Um, so, I used the Union Square... Um, by Recollections, and I believe that this is just like the Lost and Found set by My Mind's Eye, or at least one of those Lost and Found sets. Super cute. Love the colors. So let me go ahead and get started. <clears throat> so on the front of this album, there is lots and lots of bling. So um, this is the Black Prima Bling. These are butterflies, and the butterflies are all dimensional. Um, they all have um, three layers with a um, Recollections pearl in the middle. Okay. This bling at the top right here and right here, this is from my stash. Um, this is from the um, camera photo holder collection as well. And just this photos and I put it in a banner and I kind of curved the banner edges down because I didn't want them to kind of fray. Um, let's see. This right here, the lens, or should I say the lenses, I just cut them out multiple times using my Spellbinders dies and then just kind of layered them and then once I got done, I didn't like it so I decided to um, bling this up as well. <clears throat> so I just adhered some black cardstock and then this black mesh trim. And then this right here, this huge flower, is a Recollections flower as well. Okay. And so um, on the side, I have some charms. And this is a, I think, a Tim Holtz swivel class. I'm not really sure. I believe that's what it's called. Give me one second while I get this together. And then this piece right, oops, this piece right here. And then this piece right here. Um, these two pieces came in the same set from Michaels. There was actually an airplane also, but I didn't use that for this project. This key, uh oh, sorry, I was out of frame. This key right here is a key, I believe it um, was Making Memories, also from Michaels. Um, and I don't think they sell that one anymore. And then this super cute camera is from Etsy. Super, super cute. Love it. So I um, bound this uh, album using my cinch. And let me take you through the pages. <clears throat> so this first page right here, let me zoom out so you guys can see a little better. This first page right here, um, it's kind of plain. And then this trim right here at the bottom, this black trim is actually from my sash. It's that black rosette trim. I got this from Hobby Lobby. Um, this page right here, didn't need to do anything with it. It is so super cute. This next one over here, I made a pocket with about a quarter of an inch depth on the side because I wanted to be able to fit lots of stuff in here um, without it being too chunky or too bulky. Let me just fold this to make it easier. And so in here, I have um, just some pieces from the jotted down stamp set, okay? So this right here, um, it's just like a little piece of paper, like a notepad, and then you just flip it open and you can journal in here as well plain on the back. Then this one right here, there's this piece, you can journal. And then creativity, lots of places to journal. You can put a picture on the back if you like. Um, there's another piece, this one right here just says for the record. Again, you can place a small photo or continue journaling on the back. This one right here says remember. So you can journal, and it's got a space for two good size photos. Not super big, but a really good size. And it's just plain on the back. And then I use my Martha Stewart punch to punch this right here. For this one right here, I decided to make um, a couple photo mats. And it's just tied together with some um, brown satin ribbon. And so this flips down like this. And then this one flips up. And so that's the way the inside looks and that. And then it flips up one more time. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot get all this in frame. And so that's the way it looks. And I'll tie this up later. So the next page, um, I actually left pretty plain only because, 
you know, if I want to fit just one photo, it fits a four by six photo very nicely. This is a picture of my brother. Um, I'm working on an album for my dad. Um, I've been working on it for a while. I need to try to finish it up. But um, anyway, I digress. <laughs> this right here, um, this just says photo session all the way around. And I use the Spellbinders Lacy Circles die for the back. And then this is just a um, Tim Holtz piece that just says moments. And then this is one, two, three, smile. And this is actually a little tag. You can pull this out. And you can fit a nice size photo there. And then on the back, it just says sweet memories. And you can fit a photo there. And then this actually opens up right here and flips open again. So you have a space to put four photos plus the tag, which makes it extra two. So a place to put six photos all together. And then right here is the next page. Um, again, the paper is super, super pretty, super beautiful. You really don't have to do a lot to it at all. This is the next page. And then right here, we have another pocket in this pocket right here. Um, some more of those journaling spots and it just says what he said. Again, this one flips up. This one right here um, is another little tag and there's a ribbon slider, a pearl, and then there's a flower on the back. This right here says sweet memories, journal, and then a nice space, oh sorry, nice space for a photo on the back. Um, this one just says date, time, place. You can put a nice size picture here. And then when you flip it over, a nice, nice journaling spot. And then, well, let me do this one last. This one is what she said. <laughs> so these are super, super cute spots. And then you just open it up. You can journal or pit, fit two small photos. That's it. <clears throat> and then for this piece right here, this is actually just a little belly band. And so you just slide this off. And this just has one, two, three, four, five, six. And it says in this order. I love this. And then you just flip this open. And you can either add a small picture right here or journal, whichever you decide to do. And you just flip that close. And that's the back. And you can slide the belly band right back on um, with no problem. I say no problem and here I am struggling just a bit. There we go. Okay. And then this is the very last page <clears throat> and it's just the music notes. And then that's the end. So, um, again, um, you guys, please go check Regina out. Um, she's actually going to be, um, putting a special up with all of the files that we used, um, for the projects today. And she's going to offer them at a really good price to you guys. So don't forget to check out the Cutting Cafe. Um, don't forget um, for Inspiration Wednesdays, she always um, offers three sets to one winner that she pulls um, if you leave a comment on, um, on the blog. So again, you guys have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.